Bowery Dugout, feature of the day, halibut, the most wonderful denizen of the deep. This fish is 23 pounds, probably has a waist factor with head and guts, roughly about 30 to 35 pounds. We're going to fillet it today, cook it, and show you how wonderful this pearly white meat denizen of the deep is. You look for the shine on the coat, inside where it's been gutted, nice pink blood. When it's dark or you see uh, discoloration, stay away from it. This is a wonderfully fresh fish. So I'm going to take the collar off. And one of the things that uh, is pretty amazing with fish, there's a center line right down the center, and that's where the spine bone, it's a, this is in a flat fish family, a halibut, is in the family with uh, right-handed flounders. So this center line right here, which is maybe pretty hard to see, is going to be our starting point. That will be the top part of the spine, and I'm going to fillet towards me, and we're going to quarter fillet it because it's a large fish. If it was a smaller fish, roughly around five or seven pounds, we would fillet from one end to the other. So following this line, and it's right there, you know, just follow it right through. Nice long stroke so you don't chop your, uh, the flesh of your fish. I have a beautiful filleting knife. You see it has a nice spring to it. I'm going to be able to go on top of the bone and just scoop it out. Following the nice long strokes right above the fin bones. And one of the great things about halibut is the gelatinous fins which adds such great flavor to the, to the fish itself. One lovely just chunk of fish. The nice shine, the freshness. And all we do is follow on the other side, nice long strokes. Little pin bone up top. Working around the belly cavity. side too. The black side or the top side is the meatier side of the fish. The belly side is a little thinner in density and it's camouflaged is the dark skin. It lays up in the sand and it's camouflaged and it lures its prey in. So now we have our top quarter loin fillet and I'm just checking for bones with a light touch. I feel a little bit off the fins. Just a light trim. And I won't throw any of these trimmings away because we're going to make a great fish soup out of this. So I'm going to go 9 to 10 ounce portions of fish. And now we're going to prepare it and bring it to the plate. We're going to take this uh, portion controlled halibut and season it lightly with a little Old Bay and only one side. We don't want to go too much. 
and we're going to just uh, dredge it in flour, all-purpose flour, and shake off the excess, and it's ready for the sauté pan. And the, one of the reasons why that we dredge it in flour is because with the sauce we're going to make, we want it to cling to the fish after it's cooked. So we our halibut uh, meets uh, inside down first for a light browning, and then we did the skin side last. So we have about four or five minutes on the top side so we have a nice light golden brown. Skin side down for another four or five minutes. So what we do here is we towel it to take off the excess oils because we want to finish it with flavor. You can't cook the flavor in before the fish is done. And I'll show you what I mean. So now the fish is ready to go. It goes on the plate. And we go to the finish. The best garlic butter in the world. Uh, made here right at the Bowery dugout. Uh, decent portion of that. To that we're going to add julienne sun-dried tomatoes and we have fresh basil. Our garlic butter is at room temperature temperature so it melts. And to that we're going to add fresh basil. White wine. Myers fresh lemon squeeze. The aroma is just magnificent. Halibut, sun-dried tomato, garlic with homemade coleslaw, Bowery Dugout style.